All right, so we have some more Red Wings picks to go over. Here we have Theodore Niederbach. He is the third pick of the Red Wings in this draft, and he is the third Swede taken in a row. Furthermore, the next pick, the fourth pick, the third second round pick the Red Wings do have, they used to select Cross Hannes, who has an amazing hockey name over here. Let's go over onto Theodore Niederbach first, because he is a guy drafted 51st overall by the Detroit Red Wings. The Wings actually traded down. So this 51st overall pick was initially the Vancouver Canucks second round pick sent over to LA in the Tyler Toffoli trade, which I absolutely regret now that he's gone. But this trade was eventually used by the Kings to trade up, the Red Wings traded down, and now they have themselves Niederbach, who is this Swedish forward over here. He's 5'11", 172 pounds, 18 years old, a center right wing player who actually has a very impressive story. But before we get over to that, let's go over on his projections. Some people had him as high as being a first-round talent, like the folks over at Elite Prospects. Others had him dropping down to the third-ish round over here. Is that the third round? I can't do mental math off the top of my head. Something like that. A little bit past the end of the second round here, like Craig Button and future considerations. But you'll notice quickly about Theodore Niederbach is that even though he did have a pretty good 48 points in 40 games played with the Junior 20 for Lunda team, he had zero games, zero points in 2018-19. That's because in this year, he had himself knee surgery that took him out for the entire year. But he bounced back afterwards, got back over into playing with the Frolunda Junior 20 and Junior 18 clubs, was very good over there, played in the U18s for Team Sweden, was very good over there. He actually has a twin brother, Adam Niederbach, who isn't all too great in comparison, but who definitely does have an interesting story as well. So if the Red Wings want to swing high, try to get themselves the next uh, Sedin twins, I guess. Obviously, I'm joking, but like you could try to go for an upside pick with Adam Niederbach, but Theodore Niederbach is a guy who definitely does have some very good offensive skills. There are some stuff that he does need to work on. There's a reason he was drafted here in the second round instead of the first, but it's an upside pick for the Wings. Another Swede, three Swedes in a row for Detroit taken here in the entry draft. And then so far right now for the Frolunda hockey team in the Junior 20 League, he is at 15 points in nine games. So that's very good for Theodore Niederbach starting off his 2020-2021 campaign. As for Cross Hannes, a guy taken 55th overall by the Detroit Red Wings. If we go over to that 55th pick, this was that Washington Capitals Madison Bowie second round pick that was indeed acquired back in February of 2019. So that's a very long time ago, but indeed it is working out because Cross Hannes is a guy whom a lot of people kind of projected to go around this range. Elite Prospects had him at 58, but... If you take a look at some of the other projections, hey, 109th, 91st, 91st, that's a little bit further down. So I saw a lot of people saying that this indeed is a reach, which, you know, you definitely could say it was. But at the same time, the Red Wings already have drafted quite a few times in this draft, so they don't really need to be super adamant with the deficiencies and the overall success rates of their picks later on. Because, hey, you had this pick for a year or so. Why not use an upswing type of player with this one? And that's exactly what you're getting over here with Cross Hannes. 49 points, 60 games played, 22 goals, 27 assists. He played for the Winterhawks. This was the stacked Winterhawks team that was able to do well, well things with a guy like Seth Jarvis. Going over to the WHL, Seth Jarvis, man, absolutely crazy point producer over here, but... For Cross Hannes, he does have some skating work that he needs to go over. He has some very good offensive skills and mitts. This guy is absolutely crazy with his silky hands, and he's very good, as you can see right here, creative puck handler. Doesn't instinctually look for a pass, but he finds the trailer cross law opportunities. He's good at finding the great pass once in a while. You can note that with his 27 assists, but this is an upside pick for sure. Cross Hannes isn't a guy that's guaranteed by any means, but the Red Wings are going to take their time with this kind of guy. Let him actually do things in the WHL next season, so we'll see how that pans out. But these are two straight second-round opportunity picks here for the Detroit Red Wings. It is Theodore Niederbach as well as Cross Hannes. Two guys that definitely do have some upside, but we'll have to wait a while to see that come to fruition. So talk to me in the comments what you think about either of these two guys. 
either in cross harness with the Por Portland Winterhawks or Theodore Niederbach playing with his twin brother with the Frolunda Hockey Club. Actually, we'll see. Does his twin brother play with him still? Because I know that Adam's numbers weren't really all too great in comparison. Yeah, so they play on the same team for the most part, but you can see, um, even though he is a D-man, the numbers aren't really all too great in comparison. Obviously, this positional change is there. But Theodore Niederbach is a guy who definitely does have a very good skill set that was put on display last year. So talk to me in the comments what you think about this stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye. <laughs>